Hello YouTube. We're making a round piece of brass with holes in it for our tub, combination shower tub, okay? We made one out of aluminum and it's always been junky because they moved in the house, there wasn't one in there. So all we had was a hole where the water drained, okay? So, we made one and it's getting corroded, falling apart, so we're gonna make one out of brass, okay? I can't tell you right now how thick this piece is, but this came from online metal to get a pack of four. Like you see, here's a thick one. You get 26 gauge, 22 gauge, 18 or 14 gauge. I can't tell you right now what this one is, but I'm guessing it's 18 gauge. I got my dial caliper set over there to mark with and I don't want to mess with them, so I'll put it in the description. Anyway, let's talk more pictures. You'll probably see just a lot of pictures in here. We are going to put a circle and a square. That means this has to be an inch and five eighths. We made this a sixteenth inch beggar. Okay, we'll make a paper template with our circle maker and we'll have the circle. Okay, we'll show you a picture of that or the little circle drawer I have if I don't have it on the template. Okay, that gives me my eight points, four corners in here, because I'm going to have lines drawn, and then where I'm going to drill my little holes, we'll have one in the center, of course. So, it'll be more pictures than talking. So, you can see how I do this process. But, that's how I do it. It makes it easy for me to put a circle inside the square. I made it a little bit bigger. I use my Dremel with like three cutter discs to set your own wrist where your goggles and after I cut it out with a cutter disc I stack three of them together and I go down kind of like this see at an angle then I'll actually go like this kind of like the side of a grainer because we don't want to use our diamond disc over there because we'll contaminate it then we'll go back and we'll file okay that's flat file I'll snap a picture you can still see the layout line always leave your line okay I said let's talk more pictures and you'll see how this is done but I want to just make the, this part of the video show I'm putting a circle and square just to get my eight points drawn on here so it just makes it easier to lay out the lines but I'll have a template centered in here I think I repeated myself okay stay tuned we'll show a short clip I do this I have three cutter blades stacked up there kind of put the bevel on this it makes like a beveled stone and we're leaving the line because this may be a little bigger than what I measured And we cut the corners off first. You know, we'll see how I cut the corners off. Just sliced it off. We'll just keep doing this. We're gonna put our first hole in the middle. We're gonna put a carriage bolt in there. We're gonna go in the house and see if it fits down in the drain. Nice if I'd found a silver dollar or something to make this out of. This is 18 gauge, 0 .040, 40,000 stick. That's thick enough. The other piece I have would be 63,000 thick 14 gauge. That's why I'm not wasting that. Okay, back to work. And we're done. I have no excuse for the center hole being off. I come up with all kinds of excuses that the pilot hole is off, the center punch mark was off. No excuse. I made up for it by making these the best I could. I figured out where I wanted these and I just went around and scribed with the calipers and then measured over and then offset the holes. See what I mean? Offset them. You wouldn't want them directly below to be too close. Offset them. There, that might be a little better. Debird, ground everything off the back. 
so it's smooth. We'll give this a, maybe a little bit of sanding. Doesn't really matter. It'll get tarnished unless you put cleaner on it. But there you go. Whatever they call this thing. Maybe somebody can tell me and I can change the name of it. I'm just going to put a uh, tub strainer thingy or whatever. But yep, yeah, no excuse for that center hole. If you could see the marks right across here, there you can tell them off one way. Oh well, it's just a drain. I'm the one who has to know it. The average person probably wouldn't even know this, but there you go. It fits perfect. I went out there and I had my carriage bolt. You know, it can't fall down the drain, but that way it don't get stuck. I had it on a carriage bolt, stuck it in there, made sure it fit. So it can't fall in. Anything can come out, but it can never fall down the hole because it's bigger than the hole. There's like a step in there where this sets down in. So I don't know what was there originally. I uh, have no idea they make so many different kind of tub drains and shower drains, but this is all the bigger the hole is. So, thanks for watching. Oh, add this. I used this long, my homemade center punch I made a while back so I could see. And I just pushed on the brass, just you know, just pushed down, made a little peck mark, so I could see what I was doing. So it worked good. It was long and tapered, and I can look down and see where I wanted the hole. So that came in handy, having something that big for that little of a job. So, so I throw that in there. Here comes the train. All right. Thanks again for watching.